Hi, I'm Kelly from New Orleans, and my question is, I'm having a dinner party for the people at my husband's new job, and I, what can I make for 20 people that would result in a sophisticated looking and tasty appetizer? We're going to give you a very quick and easy and yet elegant uh, appetizer that will blow anyone away. It's very simple. I'm going to give you a few tricks on how to do it. Uh, one is a ring mold, okay? Now, what I use is I use three different colored beets, okay? These are all baby beets. You can get that at any grocery store, okay? And you just have to boil them for, you know, until they're fork tender. Now, I just want to dress these with a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of salt, a little pepper. I use a little bit of uh, sherry vinegar. Sherry vinegar is very good with beets. Now, I dress them separately because the red would bleed into the other ones. Now what I have here is an herb goat cheese, all right? Now I put it in a pastry bag so it's easier to use. So all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a little, little bit of this goat cheese in there. Then I'm gonna start layering my beets into it. And what I really wanna get is I wanna get all these colors to show through. Then I'm gonna add a little bit more goat cheese onto there. You don't have to use a whole lot of this. And I'm gonna, again, layer a few more beets on there. Okay, after that, I'm just gonna pack this down. Uh, I really like to add a little bit of toasted walnuts on the top, just to add another little texture onto this. And again, it's another very good combination with the beets and the goat cheese. You pop this out of the ring mold, and hopefully everything stays together. <laughs> then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of these beets each and just layer them right next to this salad, which again, is just gonna add more depth and more color to it. Over here, I have uh, a little bit of wild Italian arugula. All I'm gonna do is take any basic vinaigrette, one, two, three, add a little bit of vinaigrette onto there. You know, again, arugula has its own flavor. You don't wanna overwhelm it with the vinaigrette. I'm gonna take the, a little, this small salad here. I'm gonna place this directly on top of these beets and goat cheese salad. I like to use arugula because of its pepperiness. Just kind of stack that up high. At the end, basically this is similar to a pesto. It's just basil and oil. I'm just going to kind of add little dots of this around the plate. And there you have it. A good, nice, beautiful dish that you can make for 20 people in 20 minutes. No problem.